Okay. How was it? Good. Good one. Good. If we can still our mind, if we can forgive people around you, including yourself, then your mind will clear and ready to ready to steal it. When our mind get still to one a certain level, then we have to don't have to worry about anything. Don't worry about an object. Don't worry about mantra the mind will go by itself that's what we call the art of doing nothing okay uh, next session will be wisdom talk Are we ready for the wisdom talk? Okay. Share. Okay, our, our topic today I, a topic today hanging around with ignorance. You know, ignorance is the deepest roots of defilement. So uh, we will talk about many of us fool around and you know hanging around with the ignorance, and we will find out that why is that? My name is Prachayanon Gitjananto. Some of you may uh, used to listen to my wisdom. Okay. We are all born with ignorance. We are all born with ignorance. ไม่เห็นสไลด์ค่ะหลวงพี่ฮะไม่เห็นสไลด์ค่ะไม่ได้แชร์ใช่ไหมกี้แชร์ไปแล้วนี่นะเห็นไหมเห็นไหมเ
มาอย่างโอเคโอเคอยู่กับเด็กโอเค start all over again uh, the topic is hang around with ignorance right? my name is Prachayanon j i t a n a n t o We are all born with ignorance. Did you see my PowerPoint? Okay. We are all born with ignorance. Everything comes to learn later. You know when 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 we when we. Uh, we were born. We know nothing. It's like a like a a computer. We just bought a computer, and nothing in the disk. When we were born, there is no. Memory live in our brain. We learn everything since we were born. We learn it later on. Accumulate experience in our brain. What you know is that you know the shallow law. The shallow law. Therefore, it is necessary to research, and you know. Suppose we need to know ten facts, but we know only five facts. What happened to? And at the five, we don't know. And when we don't know, we set up the theory. We set up the theory, try to support the theory. But later on, we know, we 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 knew five. But later on, we know another two facts. And that old theory doesn't work. That's why we keep changing the theory when we know more facts. See that chart. What you know, what you don't know, that the the yellow one, what you don't know. You don't know. The green one is is what you know, but the purple one, what you know, you don't know. See, it's quite confused, but uh, but the real problem is is that we don't. Realize, we don't realize that we don't know. We don't realize that we don't know. Uh, things that we know is like a, like a, we grab a leaf in our hand. 
but the whole knowledge is the whole forest. So we don't realize that we don't know. But we are always boasting. We, most of the time we say we know, but we don't know. And we don't realize that we don't know. We don't know where we came from before we were born. We don't know where we came from before we were born. We don't know why we were born. We don't know why we were born. We don't know when we are going to die. We don't know when we are going to die. We don't know where we are going to after death. We don't know where we are going to after death. And we don't know if we are going to be born again. We don't know we are going to be born again. So upon the ignorance, when threatened by death, it is irreparable, even if it's so. It will not be so just in time. But when afflicted with fear, suffering, therefore it is circling to the problem solving upon the ignorance. Fear and suffering, then we running around with that ignorance, ignorance with we don't know, we don't realize that we don't know, you know, running around with that. Try to exit this issue by finding way to make access to possess power or magical power in order to leave ignorance, suffering, and fear. By calling it the unknown factor, calling it the unknown factor, or pure power, thing that we don't know, we just say, oh, it's good something, pure power. So think opposite. What, whatever you think, think the opposite. So many thinkers believe that there's dark, there's bright. There's heart. It's cool to soul. Uh, when we have sunshine and we have darkness, we have heart, we have cool. There are ignorance, suffering, and fear. There's got to be a solution, of course. If we have ignorance, suffering, and fear, 
it got to be a solution the other side. Because what you have yet found does mean that it does not exist. There is different groups named pure mystical power based on their attitudes and languages. Some call it the truth. Some call it supreme knowledge. Some call it goodness. Some call God. Some call Dhamma, some call Nirvana or Satya and anything else. And it's kind of controversy that what eats it inside human or outside the human. If it is outside of human, can we reach out? If you believe you can access it, how do I use my body or use your mind to find out or find it? If you can't accept it, where do you go? Or pray and be derived from the invisible mighty power. So this belief becomes a the origin, this belief becomes a theology. Now, the other group believes it belongs to us. It belongs to us, not, not the one outside. It belongs to us. So where is it? and how to find it. Some people use their body, obsessed with eroticism, or torturing themselves. Some people do that, obsessed with eroticism or torturing themselves. In fighting the way to the power, to fight the power. How hard the search is, it hasn't been successful. Fear, suffering, and ignorance cannot be eliminated. It's still there. Fear, suffering, and ignorance. Another idea of this group, the second group is one idea and the other, the other idea Superlative knowledge or pure power stored store in a delicate way beyond the human eyes. Somewhere, it's going to be somewhere in delicate way, but we don't know where it is. But 
we cannot see because we cannot see it. We cannot touch it. We cannot see it. So, uh, but uh, it's stored somewhere. It takes the especially right way trained mind to reach and to see it. Because our mind is very powerful, very efficient. If we have the right way to train our mind, then we can reach and see it. But that's just what in the person of the great perceiver. Not, you know, not everyone, but everyone can do that. Depend on the uh, effort to put effort in that. So, if somebody have great perseverance, put all effort, they can reach it. How to derive such power? Its method, it's, it begins with good deeds. To give is a stingy heart. To give is stingy heart. To give is something that we give away without expecting anything in return. If we give, you know, most people when give something away, they expect something in return. Uh, that's called investment, not, not uh, giving. Uh, on your friend's birthday, you give a birthday gift to your friend. Why you give that birthday gift? you expect your friend to keep you back on your birthday. If you, if you, if you get it, you will be satisfied. But if you don't get it, that's a suffering. To forgive, is to suppress annoyance, hatred, anger, and revenge. If you can forgive, you can forget. If you cannot forgive, you keep, memori keep memorizing that. When you have time, you recall that, and it hurts you. So forgive to forget then you will be happy. Ignore the evils. Increase your comfort to be comfortable. Practicing meditation. You know, be kind to each other, be generous to each other. Make your mind soft and full of loving kindness, compassion, and generosity. These are easy way to get rid of lust, desire, and other defilements. 
which are hindrances to training the mind to fall out of ignorance, suffering, and fear. I told you, the Buddha told you, but people, a lot of people don't believe them. This is what we call they, they don't realize that they don't know. It's ignorance, suffering and fear. So just give to eliminate those things, to uh, cultivate merit, cultivate your happiness, like giving and forgiving. And observe precept, five precepts, not to kill, not to steal, not to do the adultery, not to tell a lie, and not to consume uh, alcohols or drugs. And practicing meditation to steal your mind, to regain the power of your mind. Your mind is very powerful. You may have heard that uh, two people living in opposite side of the world without mobile, without uh, internet, without Wi-Fi, they can communicate with each other. That's, they use the power of the mind. So we practice meditation. When our mind getting still, we can regain the power of the mind. We have lost our power of the mind since we were born. One by one, by the defilement try to uh, pull you down from doing good thing, penetrate the evil thought to, to make you think that way. And that's ignorance, suffering and fear running around with that. To get out, you got to forget those things and uh, steal your mind to gain the power of your mind. Ignorance uh, vs. water. If I compare with water, ignorance is compared as that the water is clouded by mud. Repetitive, being covered with dark weed, moss, or clear water that is blown away by the tide, that are swamped by the earth, impossible to see the clearness of the water. So we meditate. And like uh, we wait when it's calm and smooth, the water is clear and clean again. See, our mind, same as our mind, we need to clear and clean our mind to get the power back.
So, so do our minds, waiting for the condition of being relaxed, comfortable, and mindful. Stop worrying thoughts that will disturb the mind. Whenever you do so regularly, the original mind, the original mind with incredible power already exists. When you gain that power of your mind, it's going to work effectively and powerfully again. What we often hear is to make our mind clear or to concentrate on praying and meditating. The mind that has been cleansed and trained to stay still in the mind that regularly concentrate, meditates, and is consciously mindful. That's the way the original mind will energize the real power to have pure superpower restored. Now we know that those defilement is the cause of suffering, the cause of ignorance. So get out of the ignorance, get out of the ignorance, it's very simple. And then regain the power of your mind. When you get out, get ignorant out, you regain the power of your mind. And that's it for the day. Thank you everyone and join the program today, I hope it's uh, quite useful for you today. Thank you for listening to wisdom today. Yes, well, thank you very much. That was a very wonderful session we just had. So in response to our teaching monk, let us thank him by bringing our bombs together again, everybody. And saying Namaste Karn. One, two, three. Karn. Okay. And I believe we are going to have another blessing session by our teaching monk. Okay. Uh, let all your merits and good things that you have cultivated and accumulated for many lifetimes bring you happiness and success bring you longevity with good health and help create loving kindness, compassion, generosity, sympathetic joy throughout your whole life and the lifetimes to come. Thank you everyone. Have a good night, good day. Yes, okay, thank you for the blessing. Now, before we leave, if we could all turn on our cameras so we could have our group photo together. Okay, so if everyone could bring your palms together like this and I'll count to 10 and our technical team will take a photo for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
then. Okay, thank you very much everyone for joining our wonderful session. Don't forget to share good energy together here at Mind Journey every Wednesday. Hope to see you next week as well. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye everybody. Hi Brenda, thank you for joining. <laughs> Bye, Grenda.